start of fall weather, of course, means cooler weather is on the way. So we asked Emily Calkins from the King County Library System for new fall reads that would be just perfect to cuddle up with. So I would start with You Had Me at Ola by Alexis Daria. This is a romantic comedy that follows the stars of a new telenovela on a service like Netflix, Ooh. like a streaming service. So they're Ashton Suarez and Jasmine Lynn. They both have big plans for their careers. They're going places. They're not interested in romance. But of course, there's chemistry. They can't resist it. And what starts as an onset flirtation turns into something else. This is just really fun. It's diverse. She's Puerto Rican and Filipino. He's Puerto Rican. It has wonderful characters, not just the two of them, but their families and the other cast members. And it's just a cozy, fun, escapist read. This kind of feels like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> Yes, them, totally. Right? Okay, now let's get into the next one. So Piranesi, it's a little more in depth. When I read the description, I kind of felt like maybe it's an adventure into a totally different kind of strange land, really like an escape that you can use your imagination. Yes, so it is an escape. It's very different in tone than the last one. I don't want to say too much about this because I think it's best enjoyed not knowing what's going on. Okay. But basically, Piranesi lives in this huge house that's the only world he's ever known. And the only person he's ever known is this person called The Other, who also maybe lives somewhere in the house. It's a wonderful mystery. You don't know how Piranesi got there, who The Other is, and it has really incredible and immersive world building. So if you like to just disappear into a book, I think this is a great one. What about Carrie? This sounds very relevant to what's going on with race culture and talking about issues. Tell the audience a little bit more about how she has struggled through her career. Yeah, so Carrie is sort of part memoir, part cultural criticism. Toni Jensen is a Metis writer. Her father is Native American. Her mother is white. And in this collection of essays, she explores her childhood, her growing up, and she sort of looks at all of that through a lens of gun violence. Her father is a card-carrying NRA member. He taught her to shoot at a young age. She's got this lifelong relationship with guns, but she's also aware of how guns disproportionately impact Native communities and women. So it's really thought provoking. It's beautifully written. And like you said, it's very relevant to a lot of conversations that we're having right now. And what are some of like the, the bigger points that we can take away from that book that relate to specifically what's going on today? Well, I think one of the things that she talks about is, you know, we think about these horrible mass shooting events, but really that's such a small percentage of what gun violence really constitutes in the U.S. And it's really a much more endemic problem than these horrific events. It's, it's more every day. And that's really one of the points she's trying to make. The one that I was most interested in, it's called Leave the World Behind. So kind of tell us what it's about. Sure. So it's about a white family. They rent this vacation home in the Hamptons for a week. There's no cell service, it's, you know, slow internet. They're trying to reconnect. And the second night of their vacation, the homeowners show up. It's a black couple. And they say, the power's out in Manhattan. Something's going wrong. We have nowhere else to go. So they end up kind of sharing this house and it is really intense. It's really creepy. You don't get a lot of detail about what's going on, but there's this sense of paranoia and dread that just builds over the course of the novel. It's really great. Okay, right. So I have a few questions about this one. <laughs> so no one knows what's going on. So when these homeowners show up, they're two strangers and this family has to decide what, if the homeowners are legit telling the truth? Right. Like, is it a con? Are they right. murder them? Or do they really need help? Or like what? And there's no information, right? They don't have, they can't get onto their Airbnb reservation or whatever to see if they're really- No Googling. Okay. That sounds like a great read. And let's go to the last one while we still have time. The Cold Millions. What's this one about? So The Cold Millions is by Jess Walter, who's a Washington author. And this is historical fiction. I love reading historical fiction that lets me learn something new about the world. So this is set at the turn of the last century um, in Seattle, Spokane, and Montana. And it's about a pair of brothers who get involved with the unionization movement, the Wobblies, the international workers mm -hmm. of the world. So it's really rooted in that history. You can tell that Walter has done a ton of research, but it's also just about these brothers and this wonderful relationship between them. That's great. All right. Thank you so much, Emily, for all of those suggestions. Yeah. Okay. Now you know what to read. <laughs>